Welcome back to Make Stuff Nation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I built the rudder for my wooden snipe class sailboat. The first thing I'm doing is laying out a baseline on this piece of three quarter inch Marenti mahogany marine plywood. This baseline is going to have the center of the circle for the radius that will make the bottom end of the rudder. Once I've marked out the center of that circle, I draw it using a compass. With the circle drawn, I measure up from the baseline to mark the corner of the rudder that will be at the bottom of the transom. From this corner, I draw a line tangent to the circle to make the leading edge of the rudder. Then I offset the width of the rudder from that line and draw another line tangent to the other side of the circle to make the aft or trailing edge of the rudder. I then erase some of my layout lines. All of these measurements are coming directly from the Snipe Class Association rulebook. Next I measure the height or length of the transom and the bevel from the deck to the transom because these measurements can vary slightly on different boats. I then transfer these measurements over to the plywood. I then offset the width of the top of the rudder where the tiller will attach and staple a batten in place and bend it to make a fair curve that will line up with the after trailing edge of the rudder. I then make some measurements to ensure that the offset or width of the rudder up along this curve is in compliance with the snipe class rules. And then remove some additional layout lines. Finally, I recheck all the dimensions to make sure that they're in compliance with the rulebook. Next, I cut out the rudder using my handheld circular saw. This works really well and allowed me to make a plunge cut on the last cut to easily remove the rudder. I then hold the rudder up to the boat just to check and make sure that it looks like it's the correct fit. The next step is to use a hand plane to fine tune the cuts or edges down to the lines. I also check these for square. I then use a compass plane that I restored to plane and smooth out the curved radiuses. Again, checking everything to make sure it's square. For the radiuses that are too sharp for the compass plane, I use my disc sander to sand them down to the line. With the rudder trimmed down to the final dimensions, I use a block plane to taper the leading and trailing edges of the rudder. This process is very similar to cutting scarf joints for plywood and you can make sure you have a nice even taper by looking at the layers of the plywood. If all the layers are being revealed as parallel lines, you know you have an even taper. This process actually went very quickly once I had my technique figured out. Once everything was planed down, I sanded it with a sanding block.
with figurations. Planes stood tail up, belching livid flame and jet black smoke. With all the tapering complete, I moved on to hand sanding. I folded a piece of sandpaper over the edge to fine tune the radius and smooth everything out. With the rudder sanded smooth, it was time to move on to waterproofing it and strengthening it. I applied one coat of penetrating epoxy. This fills all the wood pores and makes sure that it won't be able to absorb any water. Once this first layer of epoxy started to tack up, I applied a strip of 4 inch fiberglass tape folded around the tapered edges. I then applied another coat of penetrating epoxy over top of this to wet out the fiberglass. With the fiberglass wetted out, I then let it cure and then sanded it down smooth. I was careful to make sure I did not sand through the fiberglass weave. After sanding the rudder smooth, I then applied additional coats of epoxy sanding between each coat. This made sure that any remaining wood pores were filled and that I would have a nice smooth finish. I hand sanded between each coats to make sure everything was as smooth as possible. Here I'm applying the final coat of epoxy. I tried to apply this coat very thinly to prevent drips and to give a nice glassy finish. Once this epoxy cured, that completed the construction of the rudder. I'll mount this rudder on the boat once I've finished the exterior. Here's some shots of the epoxy after it finished curing. I hope you found this video entertaining and useful. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, or leave a comment. Thanks for watching Make Stuff Nation. And I'll see you next time.